Come one, come all. Let's see. Actually, you know what? I'm going to make a protester watch for this one. Vincent. Animal encounter. You want to have an animal encounter, don't you, Vincent? Come check out the rabbit pen. Where I I'll show you how well we treat our animals. Um, in fact, let me demonstrate right now. See that rabbit named Binky? <laughs> he was on the trampoline. <laughs> he was jumping on the trampoline. <laughs> He's getting pulverized, dude. No. This was live streamed. I stream almost every day at around 6 p.m. CST. If you like the videos, come check out the streams. Welcome to the meat factory. Kathleen, the investor, says, Hey there, my name is Kathleen, and I'm currently your zoo's sole investor. Could you come down to the management office for a quick chat, please? Dude, she has no idea what she's about to be investing in. This is going to make a lot of people very sad. People are going to be decolonizing IRL when they see a little, like, a rabbit with his head twisted around backwards. Build an enclosure. All right, let me just do that then. Concrete, dude, this is, I, I want, I literally want no animal to be comfortable in this zoo. Chat, we're gonna make bunny stew. I'm gonna make a big freaking pot of bunny stew. I'm gonna mix two bunnies up in the freaking pot. Oh, dude, there. Oh, this one's got the fucking hiccups. Look, he's honking. Huh? Let's see if we attract any customers day one. You guys are getting in here at the, at the perfect time. This is gonna be the start of something beautiful. It may be meager right now, but... Very soon, this place will be a bustling utopia where you can come and see, like, nasty little animals that I have caged up. This zoo's gonna be bussin'. Let's see what he's saying. I wish there were more things to do at this zoo. I hope the bus comes soon. I am bored. Okay, well, Arnolfo, you freak. Get the fuck out of my zoo, then. I hope you get hit by a bus, Arnolfo. Choose a salary for your new researcher. Okay, this is funny, dude. When you lower their salary, they get less polite. We're going as low as possible. I want to piss everyone off. I've seen everything. Yeah, but would you... Oh, you want to see something a little bit different? How about this? Have you seen this? Look, the rabbits are going to love this. You guys want to see some rabbits play with these little toys that I bought them? Oh my god, yes, dude. Yes, dude! Wait, you can just add a bunch of them. These guys are going to be having the time of their life. Is this costing me money? Dude, look at these guys. They're having the f***ing time of their life. Wait, that's $10 each. No. They're not even playing with them. Bounce them around. Do something. Let's see what this satisfied customer is saying. There is nothing more for me to do. Okay, well, then fucking... Oh, there they go. Look at that. Hey, hey, look back at the rabbits. Look back at the rabbits. All right. Oh, new, new people. Chat, new people. Lost puppy. A man has lost his best friend. The animal keeper told me that we have found a lost dog, a beautiful Labrador. We could call the number on its collar and tell its owner, or we can use this as an opportunity to earn more money and expand this fledgling zoo. Why don't we dress the dog up as a lion and use it to amaze your visitors? Do I want to do the stupidest fucking thing in the world, or do I want a new lion? Yeah, we're taking the lion. <laughs> Look at this miserable little lion. Chat, this is someone's dog. This is just someone's dog. Dude, and the rabbits are having a ball. What the fuck a little rat got in here? Get this rat out of here. It's a baby rabbit. Oh my God, chat. Chat, we have in our midst the very first baby rabbit, rabbit named Pongo. That is so precious, dude. And I'm gonna euthanize it. I like to imagine they just went in and twisted its little head off. Wait, it's still there! It's still there! <laughs> it's just a crumpled mess on the ground. Oh my god, they left it! Pongo, deceased. Okay, I can't get rid of the carcass until I get an incinerator. Alright. Oh my god, they're just sitting there with their little dead baby. Okay, that is a little tragic. Yeah, dude, he just fucking... <laughs> this freaking guy just comes in and just stomps the fuck out of this rabbit. <laughs> and then leaves in front of, like, 13 kids just standing around watching it. <laughs> oh my god. Change animals' diet. <laughs> I can... <laughs> I can feed... <laughs> This guy is gonna have a 100% small rabbit carcass diet from now on.
What did Tyson just eat? Did he eat Pongo? <laughs> I didn't see it, dude. Chat, we are about to rescue, quote unquote, <laughs> about six different rabbits. Where then they will have babies that will be stomped on until they are paced and fed to Tyson, our beautiful lion. Woof, woof. <laughs> this place is kind of fun. Not perfect, but better than sitting at home. That's what we like to see. End of the week summary. All right. Salary pay. I have four workers <laughs> that made a total of three hundred fifty dollars. Chat <laughs> for a week. I am paying these guys nothing. <laughs> these guys. Why do they work here still? These guys must be so mad. The processing plant. Oh, chat. <laughs> what a what a like. What a like. Suspicious fucking thing, to have like your rabbit pin hot dog and a processing plant back to back to back like that's not suspicious at all build processors to get meat and byproducts from your animal corpses you can also build factories to convert processed animals into things you can sell all right let's take a look inside our pro our brand new processing factory animals process zero products made okay um raw materials oh jesus look at that oh my god Dude, oh my god, that's so cute. I almost am gonna feel bad whenever we chop them into little bits. Dude, we need to give our lion something to play with, I think. <laughs> that is so weird. That lion is playing with a ball as if he's a little dog. That's a weird, really odd. All right. Let's add ourselves a little bacon pin, everybody. Double pig, double trouble. 34 minutes until the pigs arrive, everybody. Put on your bibs. <laughs> Everybody put on your bibs and get out your comically big knife and fork. In each hand, we are about to meet our bake I mean, our pigs. That's cute. That is so cute. Oh my god, I just had like a fucking brain blast. We're gonna get as many bad chemicals as possible. And chat, we are making, we are making it dirt cheap, okay? I'm gonna add as many of these terrible drink machines as I can around the place. Wait, what? Genome donation. We at Monsanto Corporation want to donate the plans for a CRISPR splicer for you to create animals by literally editing their DNA. Oh my fucking god. Chat, this is the beginning of something beautiful. CRISPR splicer. Oh my god, I could start cloning rabbits. Oh my god, he's going to clone! Alright, let's see what the average person thinks here. I'm having fun, but I think I need to take a moment to powder my nose. Lots of people having to shit. Yeah, dude, lots of people having to shit. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Let's raise the, uh, let's raise the, uh evil factor a little bit chip everybody say bye bye to chip wave bye it was a good 11 days you had a good run hey can we get chip out of here that's a like public execution of chip <laughs> wait what thanks for building the crispr facility let's help each other out we would like to use your facility to test hybrid creation oh my god a duck and a snake or a goose and a pig chat what do we want do we want the dake or the gig <laughs> duck and a snake yeah <laughs> <clears throat> By performing taxidermy on dead animals that I have come into possession of, I can turn them into animatronic robots. Chica! The public will look at these robot robotimals and assume they are the real deal. The best part, they don't need feeding and they will last forever. I can start by giving you a robo lion. What? Yes, I'll take a fucking robo lion and I'll put him with my dog lion. All right. Hey, Tyson, get ready to meet your new lion best friend. Oh my god. They're terrifying. Let's see how the pigs are doing. Oh yeah, they're breeding. Grow? Why did this... What? What? Why did this snakuk just say grow? Can this thing speak? Wait, did it say growl? <laughs> I thought it said grow exclamation point. Did it actually say growl? I'm fucking stupid. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Thanks for building the CRISPR facility. Let's help each other out. We would like to use your facility to test hybrid creation. A capybara snake hybrid. Or a pig and a rabbit hybrid. Chat, which one? Yeah, let's do the sneaky bear. Arnold is here. Let's see what exotic animals he has. A chicken? <laughs> it's a raccoon and a chicken. Hell yeah, dude. Let's get the chicken. Chicken goes right there. All right, let's get a couple more rabbits killed. Elwood the rabbit. Chat, salute our beautiful young Elwood. He is but 20 days old. And he, you know, we uh, he did nothing wrong in his life. He just had a bad, bad draw of the cards or whatever. 
because I'm euthanizing him. Goodbye, little man. I just spit all over my fucking screen, dude. Chipper, the chicoon. <laughs> That's cute. Look at these beauties. Oh, look, look, dude. The little snookuck is is just chilling out with the ducks, the geeses. Oh, our undercover diet dietitian visited the local zoo today to explore its inhabitants' diets and discovered the shocking truth. The animals at the zoo are fed enough to survive, but many are woefully undernourished. We saw animals fed on only the most basic things like straw and hay. The way their diets are managed keeps costs low for the zoo, but ultimately leads to unhappiness, lethargy, and shorter lifespans. Oh, <laughs> boo hoo. Oh, what? You, well, you don't like the way I treat my fucking rabbits? Oh, dude, really? That's so sad. Um, uh, Oakley, goodbye. Bye, Oakley. Bye-bye. <laughs> Call the Undertaker. Put that on your fucking newspaper. Hey, I noticed that you have geese in your zoo, but you know what's more exciting? A peafowl. It's technically just a goose that's colorful with a fancy tail. I could make the tail from paper mache. It will be a great to get practice on my skills, and your visitors will love to see a more exotic bird. Hmm. Now this is a moral dilemma. Do I want to paint and dress up my goose like a peafowl? I will get negative morality points. Easiest decision of my life. We got the damn peafowl, we got the, the goose, and the snookuck all in the same pin. Which seems like it might be a bad idea if this snookuck decides to go feral, but for right now, they're sort of being, they're behaving themselves. Come one, come all. Let's see. Actually, you know what? I'm going to make a protester watch for this one. Vincent, animal encounter. You want to have an animal encounter, don't you, Vincent? Come check out the rabbit pin. Where I'll show you how well we treat our animals. Um, in fact, let me demonstrate right now. See that rabbit named Binky? <laughs> he was on the trampoline. He was jumping on the trampoline. He's getting pulverized, dude. No. Oh, dude. By the way, look at all the people over in the um, there and a line for the bathroom conveniently right by the hot dog stand. Lines are forming, dude. They get they get their beverage. Look at all these people who have to piss. They get a beverage from right here, and then they go and line up and maybe buy a snack while they're at it. Look at this sad little creature. Chipper the Chikun. What a, what a little freak. All right, I think it's about, I think we're getting real close to a public execution time. Let's kill some of these rabbits, I guess. We've got a quota to meet. Let's kill like Stanley, um, Fiona, Dante, Holly, and Morgan. Goodbye. What happened to you? I didn't. Wiz just died. The animal died due to all this. <laughs> Chad was jumping on the trampoline. He was just jumping on the trampoline and fucking passed out. Dead. He died of old age mid-jump. Oh my god. Look at this terrible zoo, man. I fucking hate this place.